What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing another awesome tools under $30. Today we're going over the basin wrench. If you don't know what a basin wrench is used for, then stay tuned because I'm gonna learn you something. Alright guys, so today is all about the basin wrench. Um, if you're not a plumber, you've never heard of a basin wrench, you know, today is the day where you're going to learn about one. I think this is definitely a tool that you should have in your arsenal, whether you're a do-it-yourselfer do it or just a handyman in general. These things come in handy. So we're going to go over exactly how they work and, um, you know, just how to use them in different applications. So uh, let's get down to it. I'm going to... Uh, Unpackaged this one. This is a Rothaburger that I uh, I bought at Menards for twenty four dollars. So it is absolutely one hundred percent obtainable. Um, you know, for under thirty bucks. So I think it definitely goes into that um, awesome tools under thirty dollars category. All right, guys. So you've wedged yourself up underneath the cabinet. You're uncomfortable. Your back is killing you, and you want to get out as soon as possible. So um, some of you have used those crappy plastic uh, little tools that come with the faucets, and they absolutely suck. They don't allow you very much um, leverage to get stuff done. And especially when you're done with the project, you just pitch that thing in the trash, and then the next time you need to work on your faucet, well, you don't have it. So um, the first thing to do is, hey, maybe you have an adjustable wrench. Now, I'm going to show you some difficulties with that adjustable wrench. All right, so you can see on the bottom of this sink here that somebody's already gouged something in here from trying to put an adjustable wrench in here on this nut. So I'm going to try to do this as well as I can with the camera here. But you see that once we get our adjustable wrench wide enough for our nut here, that we're not able to get it in here at the right swing so that we can, you know, make this happen here. Now, so this one might not be as bad as some others, like especially this nut in the middle here, as you have no way of physically getting on this nut here um, up underneath the sink. So this is where the basin wrench comes in. So you can easily orient your basin wrench all right, so now that you have your basin wrench in here, you can literally, one-handed operation, put this around your nut and then twist in a counterclockwise fashion and you can loosen your nut off. As simple as that. All right, and if we wanna tighten, we simply take our basin wrench off here and we flip it around the other way and we get it back in here, one-handed operation, and we're tightening it. Just like that. And we get it nice and snug down. All right, got it nice and tight. All right, guys, now you can see that I was able to do that with my basin wrench with one hand. Um, I didn't need two hands, um, and especially in a place where you have a little bit to work with. Um, the basin wrench is awesome. Now, it comes in even more handy when you're in a really tight spot, and this is about all you can get up in the area that you're working in. And where a crescent wrench would absolutely be out of the question, a pipe wrench would be not even close. So uh, it definitely comes in handy in these tighter situations when you're down underneath the faucet and you're just ready to get out. All right, guys, if you're in a total bind and you're trying to put some piping together um, and you might not have your pipe wrench on you at the time, you left it at the house or you left it somewhere else, you don't have one, you can also use your basin wrench as a pipe wrench. So you literally just slap it on and you can use it just as a pipe wrench. I'm going to tighten it down in my face a little bit more. So you can literally use this just as if you would a regular pipe wrench. Boom, just like that. So not only is it a pivotable thing, but you can use it straight out and it has an adjustable handle where you can, uh, you know, bring it back and forth in the, uh, in the handle so you can make it shorter or longer. 
All right, guys, I hope you learned a lot today. Uh, a basin wrench is definitely something that I think you should have in your arsenal if you're a do-it-yourself or any handyman. Um, these things are worth their weight in gold, and they will help you on some of those frustrating projects. So uh, a definite tool to own that's under 30 bucks, won't cost you a lot, won't break the bank, and it is extremely useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I hope to see you click subscribe. Follow me along the channel, ring that bell so you can get notifications every time I'm coming out with a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. And uh, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.